is quantum mechanical consideration subatomic particles quantum mechanical consideration subatomic particles in this concept why quantum mechanical consideration of subatomic particles is developed okay this is developed quantum mechanical consideration of subatomic particle concept is developed on the basis of two two of them two theories dual behavior of matter one concept and heisenberg uncertainty principle these two concept helps to develop the quantum mechanical consideration of subatomic particles what is the need of quantum mechanical consideration of subatomic particles is the bohr model is fails we know the limitations of bohr model from the previous class okay on that context we know to deal that problem to deal that problem okay <coughs> quantum mechanical consideration of subatomic particle is arises so bohr model finally what i am saying is bohr model is failed then quantum mechanical sub uh, subatomic particle concepts is introduced it is it was introduced by uh, by the uh, basic concepts by the uh, basic concepts <coughs> this is developed by basic concept dual behavior of the matter and heisenberg uncertainty principle these two ideas are helps to develop that part that one so in it in this concept uh, first of, of all we focus dual behavior of matter dual behavior of matter what it considers okay dual behavior of matter then we discuss uh, we focus on certainty principle later okay what it is dual behavior of uh, dual behavior of matter what is the meaning of dual behavior of matter the main idea of dual behavior of matter dual behavior of matter we know from the previous classes uh, <coughs> electromagnetic radiation has dual character electromagnetic radiation has dual character electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation radiation shows shows dual nature dual nature that is dual nature that is particle and wave nature particle and wave nature we know Okay. Electromagnetic radiation shows dual dual nature of dual nature that is particle and uh, wave nature we know. Then <coughs> dual behavior of matter is first introduced by the De Broglie. De uh, De Broglie. Okay, De Broglie. is a scientist which is he is introduced the concept not only the electromagnetic radiation have uh, dual nature but particles are also shows the dual behavior okay any particle any particle shows the uh, dual behavior like electron electron has mass and it shows the dual behavior not only light electron shows the dual behavior and some smaller mass containing particles which also shows the dual behavior so why can't shows the uh, dual behavior with large particles like uh, any uh, ball like uh, moving balls or any uh, vehicles is it they shows the dual, uh, dual behavior no the we, we can observe like, like let us take an example uh, let us take an example ball okay when you are playing with the ball small ball oh, it has velocity it has velocity and mass it is a particle 
okay like particle we treat it as okay but it should not have uh, wave nature it should not have wave nature why okay we can show these some more examples on that um, uh, regarding okay then we can understand betterly um, why uh, smaller particles electron like smaller mass containing particles only shows the dual nature dual nature like as electromagnetic radiation shows okay why we cannot um, uh, we cannot uh, expand this principle for uh, like larger particles larger particles like cricket ball or something else okay why it is only valid for this smaller particles and why it is not valid for the bigger particles laterally we know okay on this contest de broglie has introduced one principle dl behavior of the matter lambda is equal to h by p lambda is equal to h by p what is the meaning of these terms h means planck constant okay planck's constant planck's constant p is momentum momentum of particle momentum of particle momentum of particle because uh, this principle for dl behavior of matter for the mass containing uh, one mass containing one has shows the momentum okay that is the reason why momentum of particles uh, particle okay lambda means wavelength wavelength okay wavelength next <clears throat> what is the means of p p is equal to momentum is equal to m into v mass into velocity is known as momentum momentum of that particle okay next p is equal to m into v okay momentum is equal to mass into velocity mass into velocity okay de broglie has introduced this one let us take an example electron electron shows the dual behavior we know electron has particle nature <coughs> electron is a particle nature and a beam of electrons 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 means a large quantity of electrons a beam of electrons okay they shows diffraction they shows beam of electrons shows diffraction shows diffraction so diffraction is the wave characteristic diffraction is the wave characteristic that is the reason why electron shows dual behavior okay we know electron has mass that is the reason why electron is a particle then electrons uh, electrons uh, a beam of electrons means a beam of electrons shows diffraction then we say it has wave nature also wave nature also that is the reason why we, we call it as wave nature also they shows let us take some more no, examples let us take some more examples regarding uh, why smaller particles why smaller particles shows the uh, show smaller particles shows the wave nature why why not uh, bigger particles bigger particles let us take an example then we can solve it dl behavior of matter in this context there are two more problems let us focus these two problems uh, which they are given in ncert textbook from that uh, what will be the wavelength of a ball of mass 0.1 kg moving okay moving with velocity of 10 meter per second okay 
For this calculation, we know the formula lambda is equal to h by mv from the de Broglie's concept. Then we can straight away substitute this one. The values are fixed. H value we know 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules per second. Okay, this is the fixed value. Okay, uh, next H value is fixed value. Next, mass, mass 0.1 kg and okay, velocity 10 meter per second. All then substituting all those all these things, you can get this one. 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 meters lambda. Okay. This is small. You cannot represent it as nanometers or picometers. So this is very small. Okay. This is very small value. Okay. This is small value. Small value and it is insignificant because of this small value we can say it is insignificant it is not a significant value insignificant in SIG insignificant insignificant value it's very low value lambda for 0 0.1 kg means 100 grams I think 100 grams ball, okay, ball uh, having the wavelength is very less, okay. That wavelength is very small, considerably very small, okay. That is, this is very small and insignificant. So, what they are saying is, like ball, like uh, items has some mass, but the wave nature is present, but the wave nature is insignificant or very less. So it is not countable. It is not countable for the uh, ball like uh, particles, ball like particles, wavelength is there but it is insignificant and it is not countable. So that is the reason why they are saying. What about the smaller particles, electrons, wavelength? <coughs> the mass of an electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. If its Ke is 3.0 into 10 to the power of minus 25 joules, calculate its wavelength. Calculate its wavelength. Okay. Ke is equal to half m b square. Kinetic energy is equal to half m b square. Next. From this formula, you can calculate, uh, you can write V. So, in this way, Next, we can uh, also write like V in this form. Then substitute all those things, then you can calculate the V. Okay, to kinetic energy 3.0 into 10 to the power of minus 25. Okay, meter square and uh, second inverse divided by mass. Mass of electron is 9.1 into uh, 10 to the power of minus 31. Okay, square root square root is indicated by 1 by 2. Then velocity they are calculated 8 to 12 meter per second. Then they substituted here lambda is equal to h by mv. h value is fixed 6.626 in 10 to the power of minus 34. Mass and velocity is here. Then you got okay then you got uh, 8 8, 9, 6, 7 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. That is simplified as 896.7 nanometers. Okay, finally we got wavelength of electron from this calculation is 896.7. Okay, nanometers. Let us compare the wavelengths of a, a cricket ball and a electron. The wave nature is significant value here 896 it is a considerable value wavelength but here the wavelength is minus 34 in terms of 18 10 to the power of minus 34 it is very less and insignificant that is the reason why they are repeatedly saying that wave nature wave nature of uh, wave nature of electron like smaller particles we can predict we can predict but we cannot, uh, we cannot say, we cannot say 
uh, wave nature of wave nature of larger particles okay that is the reason why they are saying uh, de broglie concept finally what it says is ma ma dual behavior of the matter the heading is and heading is dual behavior of the matter 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 with a smaller mass with matter with a smaller mass has matter with a smaller mass has uh, velocity okay velocity and they are lambda okay with smaller mass contains um, particle nature and uh, wave nature whereas bigger particles uh, they only particle nature only they cannot show the wave nature the wave nature is insignificant the wave nature is insignificant because it is very low that is the way of de broglie has dealing with this concept